prosopagnosia is when you see the same person and you introduce yourself to them every time, just like Groundhog Day. And that's just part of who I am. It gets a little better as I get to know people better, but not perfect. And when I started coming to Hack Night about three and a half years ago, there were a lot of new faces. Not quite as many as there are now because our room was smaller. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to mention a few of them because we do not always know how cool each other is and how the people who are right here with you can help you do cool things and to meet some of the challenges that people in times like this are looking to civic hackers and civic folk to, to do. So um, uh, Eric, uh, who isn't here tonight, calls himself oftentimes a, a uh, janitor of data. Now, if you have ever had to clean a data set, you know that that is actually a very high calling. Josh um, makes maps. And you know we're living in a time when it's really, really easy to make a map. Anyone can do it. You, you put together a spreadsheet, and you throw it into Google Fusion tables, and you press a button, and it makes a map. Or sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, Steve, um, uh, um, he also makes maps, but he's done a bunch of other things, and um, I'm, I'm not even going to start on some of the stuff he helped me with. Um, Jill Wall, he, she hardly ever comes, but she's come two or three times, and the very second time that I was here at Hack Night, um, she wanted to connect. Sometimes there are just these serendipitous connections that happen. She is no longer at Health and Disability Advocates, but I am still there. Yeah, and this is one of the kinds of things that happen here. Uh, um, so if, if you have uh, jobs to offer or jobs to seek or just networking connections you want to make, this is, this is a good place. Um, there have also been some familiar faces that I encountered here, some odd reunions. Um, Carl Fogel, I, uh, I, I know him because my husband was friends with his dad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> um, Rob Perrell, my neighbor, my buddy, um, he knows census data the way that some people know chocolate. And he is thinking of giving a free class in it. So, you know, if, if any of you guys know him, call him and tell him to do it. Uh, um, um, Michaela Blaze, when I, um, when she worked for me, she was 14 years old, and I, I would had, had to walk her home in the evening if she stayed late. Um, and her mom would give me a glass of milk. Her mom was my exact same age. To this day, I, I call her Mrs. Johnson. Um, one day I was, I was sitting there on, on, the, on that backstage, and Michaela, now a mom and a political organizer, uh, had brought a bunch of students here to, to learn about civic hacking, because it was important for politics. She sat down right next to me. Um, you know, we, we, we stood up and we hugged each other and everyone applauded. Yeah, um, um, Tony Perkwinkle, the stuff she said when she was here last month, it meant a lot to me because it was about hands-on practical democracy of a kind that um, the, the life force needs to be there. This is what she looked like when I worked with her. Uh, um, yeah. Um, uh, people just come in here and, and they say amazing things. Here's... Um, just a few examples of ones that have meant a lot to me. They're certainly not the only ones. Uh, um, uh, people have been shouting out 
uh, examples of amazing talks. Um, and the thing about this place is that it's not that unusual for people to come and say amazing and inspiring things. And therefore, um, whatever your problem is, if you can't r recognize other people, or whatever your issue is, that, is, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't um, get to know the people around you. Because in the times we're in, they can help you be your coolest self. And that's all. <laughs>